this video we're going to talk about working with special audio in Premiere. Now the first thing we need to know is that we need to change some of the settings. We're going over here to edit preference and timeline. In timeline you'll find in multi-channel mono media it's usually on stereo change it to adaptive and press OK. Now in order to work with spatialized sound we need to have the sequence defined in advance. Therefore, we click over here and go to sequence and over here under VR, you will find either in monoscopic, stereoscopic and the ambisonic. I'm going to choose this one for now. Now you'll notice that I have this four symbol on the track, meaning that it supports four channels. Now, if I will take another scene from a regular sequence and I will copy that in, everything will be fine. But we need to pay attention when we are importing spatial sound. For example, let's try to import a four channel ambisonic recording from the Zoom H2N. So here I have the ambisonic recording from the Zoom H2N. Now when I'm inserting the sound, it's important to notice that everything is standing within one audio track, meaning that all four channels of this audio file are being written in one track instead of four different tracks. If your spatial sound is not being able to be inserted into the sequence or that it's being inserted on four different tracks, it means that Premiere doesn't see it as a spatial sound. In that case, it's good to re-encode your spatial sound. You can do it with the Facebook 360 encoder and just select something that will be comfortable for Premiere to work with and convert it again. Now, when I want to export, I'm going to the export settings and I will notice under audio that I have the option to change to four channels and tell it that the audio is ambisonic. But it's also not recommended to export directly from Premiere. I would still work through a DAO station like Reaper and re-encode mocks my video and mix with the Facebook 360 encoder. It is possible, but the workflow is a little more difficult and you also have only four channels, meaning that the Facebook 360 eight channel format will be reduced, any quad binaural recording will be reduced. So in Premiere, I would work on my scene, I would edit, but then I would migrate into a DAO station such as Reaper or Pro Tools. You have a whole video about migrating from Premiere, but you still have uh, some options over here to play with the Facebook 360 controllers inside Premiere. You have a separate video about that as well. Okay, see you in the next videos.